Hello, cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone, and today we are doing a makeup tutorial! Today we will do a makeup. Um, mainly an eye look together. Uh, the only thing that I have on my face right now is just my day moisturizing cream in order to make sure that everything will be applied in the best way possible. I have brought my coffee here, so after all, let's start! I'm starting by applying this gel which is from MUA Makeup Academy Lash and Brow. It's just a clear gel to make my brows you know, uh, stand at the correct place. So, I'm starting by doing this. I'm gonna apply one more layer. After that, I'm gonna use two brow pencils, again from MUA, because I found that these products work perfectly together. I want to apply my eyeshadow base, which is gonna be from Urban Decay the primer potion this one right here i don't know if you can see it clearly but yeah as i'm waiting for my eyebrows to get dry i will use my fingers to make sure that this product is everywhere <laughs> i'm gonna start doing this one with you um i'm gonna use this brow pencil which is from mua as i told you um this is the dark brown if i'm not mistaken and I'm just trying to fill here a little bit and trying to maintain the shape that I usually have on my eyebrows. Look, my eyebrows are in general something that I don't need to take care of a lot. So that's the idea. I'm feeling it. And after I finish and I feel happy with the result, I'm gonna use this, which is again from MUA, but this time I think that this is the light brown, so with the light brown I'm gonna fill this area, uh, the first half of the brow, and blend them together, it's gonna be that symbol. Um, also, I'm trying again with the shape, but not too hard because the shape is already there. So, here we are with the eyebrows, I have already applied the base, and for the rest of the eyes I'm gonna use this palette from Nikki Tutorials, and I'm gonna start with the shade Basic truth or whatever is the name this one right here and with this shade i'm gonna apply a little bit as a transition um, under my brow in order to make sure that the dark blue that i'm gonna apply later will be blended i'm trying not to apply to the whole eyelid because that will make the eyeshadow base to dry completely and we don't want that, I want a sticky surface. I'm gonna continue with this shade right here, which is called Amsterdam. I'm gonna blend a lot. Right now I'm gonna use this brush, it's just a non-name brush, nothing to clean a little bit the area here and that's why I haven't done anything on my face because I know that disasters are gonna happen. Again, I'm taking this brush and try to blend the edges a little bit here but of course i'm gonna work more with that um this palette from nikki tutorials doesn't have a black but we have this one here which is from um, v cosmetics that's the vixen palette okay so from what i see right now i need to blend and let's be honest this is gonna be boring so i'm gonna Turn off the camera, I'm gonna finish with the blend and when I start the cut crease, which is gonna be the interesting part, I'm gonna start telling you again. What I'm gonna do now is to shape uh, the cut crease. So that's the Pilouise white base. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna apply an amount on my hand like that. And with that, I'm gonna take a very small brush, specifically this one which is from ELF, uh, ELF, yes, the concealer brush, it's the name. I'm gonna take an amount with the brush, and what I'm gonna do 
is that I will apply that amount here. You see how nice white it is, it's very nice. Then I will look up, okay, and then I will just follow the shape that uh, I have on my eye and of course I'm gonna fill everything with that white base. Okay, so I've reached the dark blue part. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to diffuse the white base into the blue. I'm gonna use a transition... I don't know, I'm thinking something um, muted, purple, something like that. I try to diffuse it into the blue. I will try to use a little bit of blue and the purple and then I will use the shimmery orange that I have planned to use for this cut crease. I'm gonna take my spellbook palette, that one here, and you see it? Yep. Um, and from this palette I'm gonna take this color right here, which is a shimmery orange, and I'm gonna spray it with the All Nighter, again from Urban Decay, and this is a setting spray. Okay, look at the pigmentation, it's so good. Look, oh, I'm so happy with this color. I wanna make sure that I will not have any uncovered spots right here. That's why I'm, I'm very, very careful and I'm doing again and again the same application before I diffuse everything here. I, so I will fix it with another brush. And I'm gonna take the Sade uh, Holy Union again from the same palette and I'm gonna just diffuse the purple into the blue with just some purple shade. I'm gonna use this from Morphe M456 uh, to diffuse a little bit here, here, here and there. Nice! Um, I'm gonna enhance the orange right there with the same brush because I feel that there is a little bit more of um, the purple shade and I'm gonna take the same brush to diffuse. Um, I, was, I will find it later to finish with the blending but right now I want to finish with the shade that I'm doing and I'm gonna take again a very small brush uh, like this one which is again from Morphe M508 and I'm gonna use um, silver glittery Again, I will use some setting spray to make it as good as possible. And yeah, here we have it. Okay, so mainly that's the eye look. Okay, so here's the cut crease, the final result with the blending and everything. And now I'm gonna do the uh, bottom part of my eye. This is from Morphe anyway, the Sade Harper. It's a blue one, so here is the pencil <laughs> application and I'm gonna enhance the whole thing with um, the same dark blue eye shadow. Uh, okay, so I'm just applying a little bit here on the corner. Of course here it's gonna be a mess, don't worry, we will clean it. Here's the palette, I'm gonna take the shade bleach right here for the inner corner and the eyebrow, the, this part, you will see what I'm gonna do. So inner corner here, okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but just some shading in the inner corner to make the eye look bright. And then a little bit here under the brow area. Here's the eye look, I'm gonna clean everything. And you know something? I'm thinking to use this thing here. This is the heavy metal from Urban Decay. And uh, I'm gonna do this off camera because I find it extremely difficult to hold the mirror. But I will try to shape a line, a glittery line, because it's pure glitter, between the cut crease and the whole eyeshadow part. So here we are with the finny style look uh, and lashes. Uh, because I did that thing on uh, the cut crease, I decided to use lashes which are gonna be like only fluffy in the end and not from the beginning because I don't want to cover it. Now I'm gonna continue with uh, the e.l.f. primer and I'm gonna put it all over my face to use it as a primer. We are done with the primer, this foundation from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea. I feel 
but the application is way better with the sponge. But in general, I prefer to apply with brushes because I find them more hygienic. Of course, I'm washing everything after I use it. I feel that this is pretty much done. So we continue with the concealer. For today, I'm gonna use Can't Stop, Won't Stop from NYX and I'm gonna apply it directly under my eye area, right here. Not a lot, I'm applying a little bit around the nose and to try to cover some spots as well. And try to make sure that all the under eye area will have concealer. For the blush, I'm gonna use this Tick Do from Colourpop in the shade Cherish You. Uh, it's from the new collection with the cherries, very nice collection. I'm gonna take a very flat brush, take some of the amount from my hand, not all of it because it's gonna be very very difficult to blend it, and I will go to the cheeks. If I feel that it needs more blending around the edges, I'm gonna use the sponge which has some of the foundation to make it look more even. Okay, I set it a little bit with uh, one of the Sabrina palette blushes, that, that one. Okay, you cannot see it, but now you can see it. This one, which is NYX Scratch, anyway, and we continue with the bronzing procedure. I'm gonna use a duo from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna apply an amount here close to my ear and I'm gonna blend it. Yeah, the bronzy part will not be the most intense that you will see. I just want some dimension and that's all. I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm gonna apply here and there and then powder. So it's fine, I will just apply the bronzer as I did and then the powder, I don't feel that it's something that you need to see, that you need to understand. It's completely fine. And now it's time for the lips. I'm gonna use a lip liner, the same that I used for my eyes, that's from Morphe. And I'm gonna just do uh, the shape because I need to have something more stable on my lips. The liquid lipstick from NYX, this one, which is in the seat. Jet Set, I'm gonna apply that and I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit because then I will do some magic. And what I did is to apply this uh, from NYX that I told you and on the top of that I applied a metallic silver from V Cosmetics, the Unicorn Goo, if I'm saying it correctly. So I gave kind of the 3D dimension because here on the top they are lighter and here at the corners they are darker so I feel very nice with these lips like I feel that they match the eye look and I'm finishing the makeup with some setting spray of course we haven't finished yet because I haven't told you the Greek word of the day uh, it's gonna be the word for shadow since I was using eyeshadows, but I'm gonna say it in a more general way. So the Greek word for shadow is skia. Try to say it with me, skia, ski, ah, skia. Can you guess what I'm gonna ask you to do uh, for today? I'm gonna ask you, oh, what a surprise to write a comment down below using this word, either in English or completely in Greek, if you feel brave enough. Uh, and that's it for today. I would like to thank you so, so much for being here with me today. I hope that you actually learned some things. If you have any questions, any comments, any ideas or anything, you can write down at the comments or you can send me a personal message on Instagram. You can find my Instagram down here and at the description box as always. If you like this video, if you feel that it was useful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Yep. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming. Once again, thank you so, so much for being there for me today and bye bye.